In this video, I'll show you how to fix an error when trying to enable Secure Boot on Oshrock motherboards. This error occurs because the current BIOS mode is set to CSM Legacy BIOS. To resolve this, you need to disable the CSM on the BIOS first. Once done, save the changes and restart the computer. After restarting, the boot mode will switch to UEFI and you can proceed to enable secure boot. In some cases, when trying to enable Secure Boot, you may encounter another warning. To fix this, let's change the Secure Boot mode from Custom to Standard. A new pop-up will open. Click Yes to install the default Secure Keys. Now, you can enable the Secure Boot without any issue. Additionally, if the secure boot mode is configured to standard, let's change it from standard to custom. Next, click on install default secure boot keys to install them. Or you can click key management for advanced options. As you can see, there are no keys installed. Let's click Install Default Secure Boot Keys to install them. As you can see, the keys are now installed. Go back and try enabling Secure Boot again. As you can see, Secure Boot has been enabled successfully. In some cases, once Secure Boot is enabled, you may lose access to Windows and encounter an endless BIOS loop. When you access the Boot Device menu, you will see no drive to boot from. Don't worry. The Windows and all your data would be safe. You got this because the Windows is installed in the legacy BIOS mode, so the disk style is MBR. But after change the boot mode to UEFI, the disk style must be GPT. The first step is reset the computer, then access to BIOS setup again. If you cannot to access the BIOS after enable the secure boot, you can turn off the PC. Switch of the power supply or unplug the power cord. Reset the BIOS by either using the clear CMOS jumper or removing the battery for a few minutes. Put the battery back into the motherboard. Then restore power and restart the computer.
Next, revert the changes to enable the CSM support and disable the secure boot. As you can see, after enabling CSM support, the disk appears in the boot device list. And now we can access the windows normally. In Windows, you can verify if the disk style is MBR using the Disk Management tool. The boot mode is legacy and the secure boot is disabled. Now, we need to convert the Windows system disk from MBR to GPT before enabling the secure boot in BIOS. Before you begin, ensure that all required conditions for the tool are met to successfully convert a disk from MBR to GPT partitioning. Please review them carefully. It is recommended to perform the MBR to GPT conversion in Windows PE but I will try to do it directly in Windows first. Before converting, ensure that all running applications are closed. I recommend restarting the computer and performing the conversion immediately after it starts, with no applications running. First, right-click on the Windows Start icon, then open Terminal or PowerShell as administrator. Run this command to check if the disk can be converted to GPT. If no errors occur, you can convert the disk to GPT using the convert switch in the command. The disk style has been successfully converted from MBR to GPT. The next step is to restart into the BIOS to enable UEFI boot mode and secure boot. Converting a disk from MBR to GPT may result in various errors, but don't worry. I've created several videos on how to fix common issues when using MBR to GPT. You can find the links in this video's description. At this moment, you can open the disk manager to see if the disk style is converted to GPT. A small partition for the EFI system is created automatically, which is why the disk can only have a maximum of three partitions before converting to GPT. Now, restart the computer to BIOS and enable the UEFI mode and secure boot.
The boot mode is now configured to UEFI and the secure boot is enabled. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.